So let's get started on our tour of the engineering majors. And we're going to go by department. And the first department we're going to talk about is bioengineering. And I'm going to introduce our chair, Professor Song Lee. Professor Lee is a fellow of the American Institute for Medical and Biological Engineering and a fellow of the Biomedical Engineering Society. As part of Professor Lee's exciting research profile, he develops techniques to use endogenous stem cells to repair damaged arteries. When most people think about biology at the cellular level, they think about chemistry. But one of the unique approaches of Professor Lee's work is to focus on the physics of action at the cellular level to better understand how cells function. And to explain to you better how the bioengineering department functions, here is Professor Lee. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> yeah. but bioengineering uh, is actually a relatively new department uh, in engineering school. It has uh, grown very uh, fast in the past uh, two decades. But engineering as a field, actually, it's quite uh, uh, interdisciplinary. And you, uh, you could see, actually, in our faculty, we have uh, many faculty in engineering, uh, core faculty and, and joint faculty, but uh, many uh, uh, affiliate faculty uh, actually in medical school, in other uh, colleges, for example, letter in, letters in science. Um, and we also have adjunct faculty teaching biotechnology classes uh, from industry. So at UCLA, we have a, a very unique situation. Both uh, top engineering and medical schools are on the same campus. It's very close by to each other. And that gives us a lot of opportunity uh, for engineering research and education. And for example, our undergrads, uh, for research experience, over 90% of the undergrads have done at least one year of research, and more than 60% of them have done at least two years of research. And this is the highest percentage in all UC bioengineering program. And compared to all other schools, it's all, also very high. So here I want to show you some examples of what we do in the department. Bioengineering is a very broad field, and here uh, we focus on four areas. One is uh, uh, molecular, cellular, and tissue engineering. You can see here uh, on the top left. At the molecular level, we engineer micro and nanoparticles and use that for drug delivery or use that uh, for imaging process. And at the cellular level, uh, we work on stem cells and we use the stem cells for the regeneration of tissues in organs. And the second area is biomedical devices and instrumentation. This includes both uh, micro devices for point of care application for diagnosis. And also, some example here you can see this is actually a pair of high tech glasses our faculty develop. In this case, is to help blind people to see again. And this uh, uh, glasses has a camera that can transmit a signal and convert it into electrical signal and finally uh, into the uh, neurons in the brain so that a, a, a blind person can see again. And the third area is the uh, imaging and signal processing. You have seen this uh, uh, short video. This is actually is a beating heart in zebrafish in the red color, uh, the red blood cells pumping out from the uh, heart chamber. And here is a brain image to show different areas of brain function and different kind of activities. And we develop uh, sensors, probes, and also better data analysis to improve imaging uh, quality and help doctors to make decisions. And the fourth area is systems biology and bioinformatics. In this case, we use engineering analysis to integrate all of this data. And this data could be genomic data, could be histological data, medical records, and also all of this uh, monitoring data in real time. And then uh, do a detailed analysis and hopefully extract information uh, to understand the disease and also help doctors to uh, develop the treatment. And these are just a small set of examples in bioengineering research. And if you are interested in, in more information, we can talk at the department session at lunch uh, later this morning. Thank you. <laughs> 